in Jersey City we have a robust light rail system, we have the path, um, we have an overwhelming amount of bus ridership as well, and so it's, it's looking for opportunities where um, where those 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 modes tran uh, cross, and it's always going to be going back to, to the public and, and buying buying in uh, buying from the community, building consensus with the community, uh, understanding uh, what what they believe TOD TOD is, uh, creating understanding uh, amongst those members of the community, and really kind of bringing them up to speed with what they can get out of new development in their neighborhood. Um, that necessarily new people coming into the neighborhood doesn't mean that it's necessarily gentrification, but that it's just building more opportunity for housing. Um, whether that includes affordable housing requirements as well, uh, whether that means mixed use and more job opportunities. Um, one thing that's always, always, always difficult to, to get over is it's not only just height of density, but it's always parking. Um, and, and one thing that I I like people to understand is that uh, a parking problem uh, or parking problems or difficult parking problems isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's, it's actually an indicator of a successful neighborhood. Um, and uh, that's what I like to help, help people understand. So when new development comes in an area, um, or we're talking about rezoning, um, it's always trying to get those community meetings in order, trying to build consensus with the people that I believe is the biggest challenge for POD.